Guys, got another video for you. This time I took over my wife's kitchen. I had uh, someone saying that I should run the microwave off this to see uh, how it does. In this test, I haven't done, I haven't even ran this thing since uh, the video of the skill saw. I have been away, come back. I now have two sets of batteries, both charged to 62 volts, I think it is. Let's see, what's it charged to? Yeah, 62 and a half volts. So this is 2P16S. So this is 8.2 amp hours at 60, 60 volts, something like that. And uh, we're gonna try the microwave test with a glass of water. <coughs> we're gonna watch the volts and we're gonna watch the amps as well. It's 40 amps, 400 amps. <coughs> Excuse me. All works. Now we are pulling almost an amp. <coughs> hmm. so this says we're only pulling, let's see, we'll put it in the 40. 0.2 of an amp, which is ridiculous if that's true. <coughs> that's hit. Uh, we want to make this water nice and hot, so we're going to go two minutes. And here we go. Get the. Uh, he's turning it and everything. That is saying it's sagged to 102 volts. And we are using 30 amps. This is saying. When that light comes on, there's, that means there's interference, which is not good. Let's try over here. Yeah. Because if I go further away from the unit, it goes off. As I get close, see, there's an interference from this. It's screwing around with my uh, amp settings. So that that's not accurate. Which is too bad, I was hoping I could get something accurate, but sagging down to 60 volts, 105 on the input. But I'm wondering if this this is this is a big microwave. It's got a 20 amp breaker for this microwave alone. So I'm thinking this is more than your average 1500 watt microwave. It's probably like 2000 or 2500. But I I can't see the back of it, so I'm only guessing. I guess I could have put a uh, kilowatt meter on there, so we don't have one available at this moment. The fans are thermal only, which is awesome. So this thing is super quiet, super super quiet. And we'll see if this is going to be a nice warm cup of water. We are sitting at 107 volts, which is a little low, but I mean. For what I paid for this inverter, this is extremely acceptable for me. I have no problems with this. And uh, I still really like that inverter, and I highly recommend it so far. I hit stop because I had one second left, and there's people sleeping upstairs, so... Yeah. Oh yeah, that's hot. I can't even touch it. I can kind of touch it up here. There we go. So, it seems to be nice and pure sine waved because uh, ran the microwave no problem so here you can see can you guys see it I don't know if you guys can see it but it, there is a steam lots of it it's quite hot anyways I'll just put this in here to cool down and this is the bit like I have four of these I'm gonna put one of these on each battery um, or maybe one of these for two packs, I'm not sure, because these are kind of expensive. But this is the way I wired it, just for now. So I can plug this into one of these packs, and then I can charge it, and then it balances it, and I move the next pack, and do the same, and then I move the next pack. Uh, eventually I'm, I'm going to make enough of these for all of them, but uh, it's been working really good so far. So that's uh, what I've been doing with these. So I, I recommend this so far. Only used it uh, 
five times. So he's done four of these and one of the singles as well. But uh, now, with the remaining power I got left, I'm going to use it to run my laptop. Anyways, I'll keep you guys updated. Alright, so now it's running my laptop, which is right there. And I have it here. And I have it hooked up to the oscilloscope as well. We are pulling idle laptop monitor to take 44 watts. And it is a fairly nice sine wave. Um, has a tiny little ripples here and there, but for the most part, it is pretty good for 300 bucks. Can't go wrong with this inverter so far, unless it breaks on me, which it could. Who knows? Um, I'm very happy with this purchase, and uh, recommend this so far. This has not been tested long term. What I've seen so far, it's a very good inverter for three hundred dollars. Actually, I was thinking it was three fifty. Sorry, three fifty, three hundred fifty dollars. And uh, yeah, so there is the oscilloscoped inverter. Anyways, I'm going to test this further and see how long this lasts with these batteries. Now, it's the batteries are actually climbing while being connected to the computer after doing the microwave test. So I have a feeling this is going to last a long time. I also I checked the voltage to this meter, and it is very close. That's saying 27, 27. It's it's bang on. It's like they calibrated these things quite well. Um, I've been finding a lot of Chinese manufacturers that are actually building good products. Um, not at, not all of them do that, but uh, I found a few, and uh, I do not mind sharing my finds so anyways thanks for watching so far after about 45 minutes or 40 minutes that was pulling uh, 134 watts down to 57.6 volts um, unit is about lukewarm but the fans have not turned on or anything, and everything's working well so far. And yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed these little updates. So I stopped my test, because we were down to 48 volts, and... These cells are pretty much dead. They're about 3 volts each. Do not want to go any lower so that's where I'm ending I don't know when the beeper goes off I'm, su I'm assuming it's pretty pretty soon but uh, don't want to wreck these cells so that's where I end for tonight hope you guys enjoy the video